Hi, I'm Cliff Alaparty with ImmortalEphemera.com and today we're taking a look at a late 20 set, 1928 Wills, British Tobacco Company, 1928 Wills Cinema Stars, first series set of 25 cards. And as Ralph Forbes will show you, these are issued on cardstock, pretty decent size, uh, pretty decent stock. And we'll compare Forbes to a quarter. The second series from the same year of these cards looks pretty much, it's designed pretty much exactly the same. And for further idea of scale, we'll compare the card to a 1979 Topps baseball card. In this case, a grumpy looking Storm and Gorman Thomas. So the gallery that follows include just the first series. We'll see all 25 cards, which include names like Tom Mix, Lillian Gish, and others. And at a later date, we'll make a similar video for the second series of these. Hope you enjoy watching, and here they come. Rene Adderay leads off the 1928 Wills Cinema Stars tobacco card set. This is the first series of two almost identical series. 25 different film stars in each set. You can see the back here of the first card. And basically the only difference in the second series is that at the top, underneath the uh, title of the set Cinema Stars, it'll say second series of 25. And we'll eventually do a video on the second series. Here's a young Hoppy, William Boyd, card number two. Back when he's a silent uh, matinee idol. Now this is a very common set of cards, but it's still nice to look at. It's Clive Brook, card number three. And just so you could get this set of 25, you know, on a good day you can find it in solid condition for $10, $15. You really shouldn't have to pay more than 20 and that's for either series. Card number four is Sid Chaplin. That doesn't make it you know, just something to stay away from, especially if you're just getting started out. You can get some pretty nice movie cards for a few dollars. These measure one and three eighths inches across by two and five eighths inches tall. Card number five is Luke Cody. There's actually a third set of Cinema Stars, but it wasn't issued until 1931, and it looks slightly different than these first two series. That was a set of 50, also, whereas these are each 25. Here's Ricardo Cortez in his Valentino phase. He's card number six. Card number seven is Dolores Costello. Card number eight is BB Daniels. And we're kind of at a transitional period in film history, we're moving between silent and sound films. A lot of these stars would successfully make the crossover. Number nine, Marion Davies. I'm more familiar with the talkies, so I don't know what Marion was dressed up for there. Card number ten is Marguerite Delamotte. Card number 11, one of my pre-code favorites, a stern profile from Richard Dix. Card number 12 features Ralph Forbes. And number 13 is one of the bigger stars, especially at this time, John Gilbert. Number 14 is one of the few, I guess you'd call them keys to the set, although these cards are only a couple of bucks each, a few dollars each, uh, Lillian Gish. 
followed by another one of the few singles that actually sells from this set, Harold Lloyd. He's card number 15. And as you can see, there's a biography on back. It talks about some of the star's recent uh, releases towards the bottom. Will's logo at the very bottom and the very top. Uh, number 16 is Victor McLaglin. Who had a long career after 1928. Number 17, a great pose of Tom Mix, the cowboy western star. His name is now always coupled with his little less famous horse, Tony. Number 18, Ramon Navarro. Contemplating. The Thinker. Card number 19 is Ivor Novello. This is a British issue. There's Novello and a few others probably point out. Card number 20 is Charles Ray. He was popular enough to be in most of these sets during this period, from the late teens throughout the 20s. Card number 21 is John Stewart, I believe a British star, otherwise I'm unfamiliar with him. Let's have a look. He has become one of the most famous young British players. There we go. Hollywood again here. Uh, Constance Talmadge is card number 22. Interesting headgear. Card number 23 is Conway Turl. From a family of actors, I didn't know that. Card number 24 is Alice Terry. Seems like we have a lot of old fashioned poses with uh, historical costumes on the actors and actresses in this set. And the first series finishes up with card number 25, Claire Windsor. And at some point in the future, we will come back and take a look at series 2, and series 3 for that matter. But as for now, this is the first series of 25 cinema stars from Will's Tobacco, circa 1928. Well, that was a pretty quick one with just the 25 cards. You'll find a gallery of them over at immortalephemera.com. You can go through them at your own pace there, and you'll find a text checklist to go along with them as well. And you can shop for cards like these, some of these even, I think, over at store.immortalephemera.com. You'll find links below to both of those, along with the subscribe button, which I hope you'll hit if you enjoyed watching this. More videos like this to come. Thanks very much for watching.